What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with Attack on Titan chapter 132. I thought we were getting this chapter in October, but I guess it's getting released this month. Uh, this is a couple days early from the official release. It's on Labor Day. But uh, so this translation might be different from the official translation that comes out. But I really just can't wait. So we're just going to make do with what we have. We're just going to get straight into this. We'll see what's going on in chapter 132. It's quiet, isn't it? Odiha's residence must have run south. All the ships are gone as well. Well then, I'll leave it to the Azuma Bito to handle this before the rumbling reaches the mountains. Understood? We will get the boat to fly by any means necessary. So we will leave our homeland to all of you. Please save our home, Zudu. 132, Wings of Freedom. That's interesting, because it's a, obviously a boat. The Survey Corps always had, you know, the Wings of Freedom. You know, a lot of representation of birds flying throughout this show, so it's kind of interesting that they need this 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 ship to fly like a bird to Aaron. So pretty cool. I like that title. All the boys just pulling on the uh, the wire, the, the rope to get this thing going. Hurry, damn it, the bombs are in the way. We should take them off. Wait. Armin's just covered in blood. We might have some use for them. Let's take them with us on the flying boat. So there might have been bombs with them on this shit. Oh, God. Are they going to drop bombs on Aaron? Because that would be fucking unreal if they were just like, well, had all these bombs just lined up so they could just fuck Aaron up. Uh, are you going to use them on Aaron? I'm not sure. You might have to. You might have to. And then Falco waking up. I can't believe it. Already they're all dead. Captain McGath, Barrio, even all of my family. Yeah, boy, sorry, that shit sucks, but the rumbling has swallowed has swallowed most of the mainland already. Then what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do from now on? We're the only ones left. They, I guess they are the only Marleyans left. Sorry, I have no idea. Annie, oh Annie, Annie, check the equipment. You're not used to using the anti-personal gear yet, are you? Go try out the gear with Reiner so you can get the hang of it. Why? We should try to do everything we can. So, I thought I told you I'm going to stay out of this. You're not even going to get on the flying boat. I'm sorry, but I'm not. Amy, you're, what are you talking about? You're not. I don't know what to think about this whole humanity saving thing. In the first place, we Eldians of Marley have been oppressed by that humanity ever since we were born. If the rumbling stops, that be. If the rumbling stops, that be after Marley has fallen, and by that point, there's nothing that protects Eldians from the rest of humanity anymore. That is true. If they do stop the rumbling, nothing's gonna stop the rest of the world from just killing everything. I do feel sorry for those who have risked everything to save their homelands, despite the slightest of hopes. But I can't fight anymore. For my last moments, at least, I want to keep it peaceful for once. Don't you just, she's looking at Armin. Then she blushes. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Interesting. Since when? Since when, probably asking her, like, since when have you ever wanted a peaceful life? Since you, like, attacked our people. Since when? What? Never mind, nothing. I get it now. Get what? You don't have to do painful things anymore. But Armin and the rest of Armin and the rest of us will get on the plane and head towards Aaron. And he just looks down. Cause you should feel bad. You came all this way and you're just gonna back out at the last second? What the fuck? I know. So what are you going to do? Are you gonna kill Aaron for the sake of humanity? I'm not killing him. I'll bring Aaron back, who's just gone too far. That's all I'm here for. By the way, don't you wear the scarf anymore? I have it, but I just don't want to wear it right now. Yeah, I don't want to wear, you know, the killer of humanity's gift to me as a child right now. It just wouldn't feel right. 
It's too reckless. You should get more rest. Levi! Okay, so Levi is like... Levi... That's mad loud. So Levi is like up and walking. It's too reckless. You should get more rest. Get more rest. If I stay sidelined for any longer, you guys will completely forget about my existence. Levi, you've been on the back burner for a minute throughout this whole time. You've been like just destroyed because of fucking Zeke, man. So it's good to see him finally have some dialogue again. If I stay sidelined for any longer, you guys will be com you guys will completely forget about my existence. Also, the one who's been sleeping because of broken bones, that damn bearded woman is awake. It's time we find out where Aaron is. Yes, Captain. It's time to find out where Aaron is, yeah. That bearded woman. Who is the bearded woman that he's talking about? Piek? No. Yelena? I think, I'm sorry, my memory's like fuzzy, but I'm trying to remember who that is. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments, though. PX here. Let me join you. I have nothing else to do. Sure. We'll take all the help we can fucking get at this point. I mean, like, we need it. If the Allied Nations try to invade Paradis Island, they'll gather at Car Carpuya. I think that's how you say it. Carpuya Port, which is right here. They'll probably all gather up. Oh! Okay, shit, 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 shit. So, this is Aaron, like, strategizing. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so he, like, has a route. From, I haven't read anything, but from what I'm looking at, it seems like the Elaine is giving him a route, or he's making a route to follow with the rumbling. If the Allied Nations try to invade Parody Island, they'll gather at Karapuya Port, which is right here. They'll probably all gather up here about a month, about a month after the attack on Liberio. You can come into contact with, with Zeke to gain the power of the top of the founding Titan, and then use a partial rumbling. The Titans of the outer wall of Shiganshuna should be more than enough to destroy the Allied fleet. Is that the only goal of their attack? Do you think they'll finally leave Paralone, Paradis alone for a few decades? A big nation losing their main fleet wouldn't prevent them from, con from continuing their attack until they're finally hit by financial issues. If most of the big nations are put in the same situation, it would be a big enough blow. So is Aaron... Hold on. But, if I were to give you more information, the fort located at the mountain range to the south of the mainland, the hangar of airships bothers me a bit. So that's probably where Aaron is headed next. Oh, fuck! So... He's headed to a hangar of airships to destroy the fuck out of them. Crazy. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go over this again. But they'll probably gather up a month after the attack. You can come into contact with Zeke to gain the power of the fountain tightening, and then using a partial rumblings. So just the titans of the outer wall of Shiganshana were used to destroy the fleet. And then he's just going to go straight to this hangar right here. It's the south of the mainland of Marley, I believe. That's probably where Aaron is headed next. Fort Suratua. These names are brand new to me, guys, so you'll have to bear with me. Uh, Fort Suratua, I think. Makes sense. If he's aware of the threat they pose to his founding titan, he'll head there after Fort Capria to destroy the airships. So you submitted and told us everything. I have a favor to ask of you people. Please admit that Zeke failed, but that he was never wrong. The only solution to the Eldian problem, which has lasted 2,000 years, was, euthan was euthanasia. I'm sure you can all tell by that disaster. I'm sure, I'm sure you can all tell by the disaster that's happening. This is a rough translation for me to read. But yeah. The euthanasia plan might be... Better than this? Worse than this? I don't know. I don't know. Because it's either you kill everyone in the world that's not your race, and then you guys are good, or you keep the rest of the world alive, and then your race slowly dies out. But who, who's to say that the world wouldn't just continuously just 
trying to fucking kill the Eldians, even if they went with the euthanasia plan, you know? Like, that plan has so many flaws. Like, so many flaws. Like, so many things could go wrong with that. So, I don't know which plan is better. They're both are just fucking ass. But Hanji says, yes, I'll admit it. Aaron did not present any solutions. Not hope or... The translation's really bad, but... Not hope or at a bright... Not hope or it a future for us. He showed nothing but my powerlessness. So Hanji's just talking about how Aaron made her feel powerless. All the boys there just picking up different cans and barrels. This is all the fuel we had from the ship. Put it there. Please take care of those kids. Running away on a ship isn't the safest thing, but it's better than going on the flying boat. I don't mind, of course. Are those kids okay with this? I'll lock them in the cabin. Please don't let them get out until the plane leaves. And what about you? I have to make it up to my dead comrades. That's what a warrior would do. That's what a warrior should do. Crazy. Hanji will take off in an hour. Okay, so the body get on the fucking ship or the, the plane. Hanji will take off in an hour. You heard him. Each of you double check your equipment. Yes, Commander. And you can see Levi posted up there. Oh, no. Two fingers are enough for me. There's no problem. Levi, bro. He's all bandaged up and he's still about to go. Fucking boss. So I'll be the only one running away, huh? Annie, why are you leaving, bro? Annie, you're trash for this, yo. If you're about to leave. Don't worry about it. You never obeyed Marley from the start. But there's nothing that you have to burden yourself with. Reiner, I wanted to apologize for what happened years ago to you and to Berthold. On that day, everything started because I insisted on carrying on with our mission. If you just returned back then, both you and Berthold could have gone back to your families. It feels conceited of me to even apologize. I agree. I have no idea. I have no idea how many times I thought of killing you. Perhaps you for holding back. And then they hug. Wow. Take care of Gabby and Falco. Got it. Annie's really not gonna come. Then they all wave goodbye. And Annie and Armin! Oh my god, bro. Annie and Armin. And he just looks at Armin and then looks away. Damn, bro. That's crazy. That's heartbreaking right there, man. That's heartbreaking right there. I, I, don't even, I don't even want to think about that. Armin, are you okay? What do you mean? Honestly, I was kind of relying on her, but Annie has fought enough already. I'm fine. Annie will be just fine. And then just... So many, so many things left unsaid between the two of them. So many things left unsaid. I'm tight. I'm tight as fuck. Are you sure you're okay with siding with us? Even if the rumbling stops, you have to consider the Eldian situation afterwards. What a pain in the ass. But thinking back to your words, Hanji, Captain Megath would have given us the final order to unite and try whatever options are left. Piek, I'd like to ride on the cart pens back next time and feel your temperature. <laughs> no. What's with all that? I'm a sudden gross. Yeah, Hanji still loves Titans at the end of the day. Your one-sided love never changes, does it, Four Eyes? We'll be getting along soon enough. Hey, Levi. Do you think they're all watching? Do you think we can finally hold our heads high for our dead comrades? Quit the crap, you sound just like him. Our boy Erwin, our boy, rest in peace, man. Good. Now start putting the fuel in, got it. It's going well, we can finish this before the rumbling can, before the rumbling comes. And it's fucking Flock. I was like, who is that? But it's fucking Flock. Oh no! He's about to, sh he's gonna shoot someone. Oh fuck, who's he about to shoot? Oh my god, okay, so, just like Matt, he like shot mad bullets, everyone ran, and now Flock's dead.
No way. He ain't got onto the boat and followed us here. <gasps> Hanji, there are holes in the fuel tank. Flock, man. God fucking damn it, bro. Had to fuck us up like this, bro. Had to fuck it up, Flock. Even in death. We can't take off with these holes. Not yet, but we can cover the holes. Get ready for the welding on the belt. Oh my god, they have to weld the they have to weld the fuel tank together to get it to fly. Flock, you son of a bitch. It makes sense that he would have bled out at this point too and died if he held onto the boat for that long. It makes sense that he would have died on the spot. I'll be just fine with this with this tin plate in about an hour. They hear the rumbling and they're getting close. They're getting fucking close to the rumbling, bro. Oh no, okay. The sound. Levi, it can't be. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Bruh. These these the rumbling is here. These fucking titans, bro, are insane. It's here. Get ready to pump the fuel at Get ready to pump the fuel in at any moment. Hurry up. Go and check the engine. Don't go. Please don't go. That's our only hope. Our devil will die. The island. Everyone. Oh, because Fock is like, if you. Fock is like, if you kill Aaron, if you stop Aaron, Eldia will be destroyed. The world will destroy our home if you stop Aaron. You don't understand. But I get it. I get it, Fock. Fought to the end for that. Fuck. He's dead. You're right. It's as he said. Oh my god, bro. Flock death. <sighs> Alright. But we can't give up now. Even if we fail today, we'll win another day. What Bro, I, I don't even, I don't even know, I, I don't even, I have nothing else to say about the Colossal Titans destroying everything, bro. I have nothing left to say about them. They are fucking awful, these things, bro. Look at all the destruction that they're causing. Why? Open up, the Titans are here, and Annie is just closing the door shut. Wait, wait, wait. And then she gets Flock. I thought Flock was dead, but apparently Flock was trying to pull some other shit. And Mikasa just had to come in for the kill right here. And all those Titans. All those Titans coming up. Armin, is this it? Now, there's no other way. I'll have to stay and buy us some time. How? How? That you're, he's not going to be able to buy time. How? That's not happening. You're the ultimate hope that can stop Aaron. I'll take care of it. What are you going to do, Ryder? What is it? No. Neither of you should be using your Titan powers. But Hanji, I'm the one that brought everyone here. I killed my comrades to come this far. I'll take responsibility for it. I don't have a good feeling about this right now. I've got a... Armin, our alert. I make you the 15th commander of the Survey Corps. The Survey Corps needs the traits that you possess. That of never giving up and to completely comprehend. There's not one who fits this role better than you. I'll leave the rest to you. Hanji's gonna die. Calling it right the fuck now. Whatever she's about to do is going to kill her. That's how it is. Then goodbye, everyone. Oh, Levi is now your subordinate, so feel free to boss him around as you wish. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, shit. Hey, damn four eyes. You know, Levi, it feels like my time has come. I want to act as cool as possible, so let me go out like this. Hanji, no. 
Hanji, please, no. Dedicate your heart. <sighs> Dedicate your fucking heart right now. I've never heard you say that before. He's never said that before, that is true. Hanji. Oh my god, Hanji's about to go out in a fucking blaze of glory, bro, and I cannot handle it. Hanji is just r flying towards the Colossal Titans in this moment. But she loves Titans. <laughs> she loves Titans. So of course she's going to be smiling right here. Titans have always been so cool. Oh my god, Hanji's about to die. Hanji's about to die, bro. Titans have always been so cool. I don't know if that's gonna do anything, Hanji. They're working on the ship here. Hanji using the Thunder Spear. One goes down. Does one go down? Hanji killed one. Holy shit, that's a mi- Wow. Fucking wow. So they, you can kill them. You can kill them. But there's a fucking lot of them. She did it. Pump the fuel. They're right in front of us. This is all the fuel we have. Get the engine started. Move the plane forward. Hot. Not yet. Oh my god. What the fuck? Hanji is like fighting. Bro, I didn't. I I did not see this coming for Hanji. Hurry up. Oh my god, bro. Hanji's going... So oh, she's... No, she's burnt. Not again. And then... Oh, no. Hanji's burnt body. Oh my god, bro. Later, Hanji. Watch us from there. Bro, Hanji's burnt... Rest in peace, Hanji, bro. I can't... What the fuck? Bro, Hanji died fighting the Colossal Titans just alone. As they were coming up on the airport, bro, to take off. Hanji. And they're all just crying, and <sighs> later, watch this from there. And then the footprint, what the? All the companions are watching. Oh my god, this, are you fucking kidding me? They're really about to pull this? What happened to the flying boat? They took off. Hanji. You did your job. And there's Erwin. There's, uh, what's his face? What's his face? I for Hanji's, like, close friend. I can't remember his name. And then there's, uh, Mike. <sighs> Fuck, dude. Erwin. Everyone. That's how it is, huh? I swear it's been hard for me after you made me Commander Erwin. And that stupid brat Aaron. Yeah, it must have been tough. Well, I'll listen to your story. Everything is for our comrades. And that's the end of chapter 132. <sighs> that's... So, Annie left the group. With Gabby and Falco. And Hanji died. That's basically like the two biggest things that happened in this chapter. The rumbling, the rumbling's been going on. It's fucking awful. <laughs> like, the rumbling continues just to fucking destroy everything in its path. But they finally have, they finally got the, the, the plane to take off. 
So, fuck, man. That's, oh, God. And next chapter, this, this chapter was definitely, like, not as, like, I don't know. It's just, every chapter is just so different, and, like, so much is happening, and Hanji dying is, like, You could see it coming when she was tired of what she started talking about, staying behind and letting her, you know, take responsibility. That's like immediate death flags for her, like, like right out the gate. Rest in peace, Hanji, y'all. Who's next? Who's, I don't know. I don't know who's next. Fuck, dude. But that's chapter 132. I mean, we gotta wait another month, but we'll see what happens. I mean, I I hope that I hope the show starts to come out next month, October. So that's that's like the rumored date, fall. So we will see, guys. We will see. Thank you so much for watching. I'm also doing a reaction series to God of High School, my friend Avery. So please give that a watch if you've been watching the show with us and you want to get our opinion on it. And I'll see you in chapter 133 of Attack on Titan. Please always remember to be safe. And I'll see you in the next one.